World Card Game Federation here with another one of our matches in the World Strongest Tournament. I want to say that this is round three. There's uh, so many of us playing Gohan that day. It was a uh, kind of exciting match despite the similarity of the Probably masteries and uh, MPs that we were seeing. So we're going to see Black Conflict Gohan with my good friend Pete here going up against Trevor's Namekian Knowledge Gohan. It's going to be a heated fight but brief. They're going to roll for it. Yeah, you guys know the key here is that Theoretically, Pete has a significant advantage. He's going to be critting on four instead of five, so he should be able to disrupt any Dragon Ball related plan. But we both know, that, um, rather, excuse me, we all know that Nameki Knowledge Gohan is his own workhorse. Oh, he got a turn one Dragon Radar out. That means he can swing. That he's going to be able to swing the match any way that he wants using his deck as a Swiss Army knife, be able to pull any DB he chooses. He does not rejuvenate Chin Grab. That's actually a wise idea because if you leave in your discard pile, your level 1 Gohan power ha actually will get a target to be able to make this work. Okay, he's going to go ahead. Okay, Pete actually rushes through his turn relatively quickly. I'm sorry, I didn't actually see what he held in his hand. It goes back over to Trevor. Uh, I will enter. Uh, Trevor feels confident enough to enter. I don't blame him. There's literally no reason not to. He could take off like a rocket. I, if I were him, I'd probably open up with my level 1 power and get that 3 anger swing rolling. There's not really a lot of reason to worry. Now, Black does have an awful lot of anger lowering blocks. There you go. He's going to go target the chin block, rejuvenate it. He's going to go ahead and raise an anger from the, uh, from the attack, from the instant, from the mastery. He's at 3 anger. It's a force age physical. All right. Uh, Pete just took the hit, and he's going to go ahead and respond with confrontation. He's going to go ahead and choose the card that he wants to get rid of. Let's see. In that hand, the most dangerous is... Wow. Okay, it's all equally dangerous. Uh, suppressive strike could be dangerous. And it's a lot of physicals, a lot of anger-raising physicals. And unfortunately, Pete is not packing a whole bunch of cards to deal with that many physicals. If I was him, I'd probably say let him keep the suppressive strike because he doesn't have a discard pile. Uh, the other card, the physical Namekian for set 13, I forget the name of it, that's probably not dangerous yet. I'd probably just try to wean him off of blocks. But then again... None of your things look like the right things. <laughs> and Pete is a uh, thoughtful player, so it's not unusual for him to do this. He does get rid of Dev Blow, which is actually a pretty good idea. It would have eliminated his own discard pile when Trevor inevitably threw it back at him and he would have lost his ammunition to keep the Gohan train rolling. Okay, the action's back to Trevor. Trevor is going to go ahead and uh, we're going to finish his deck shuffling here. Now the thing is, basically anything he does right now is going to get him off of this level. Now, having no discard pile is going to slow him down a little bit. He might have to throw two attacks to get off this level or just pull out a dragon. So let's see where Trevor goes from here. There it is. Namekian Direct Strike. That was going to be my one. There's a physical attack uh, doing AT plus 3, and it is uh, it raises anger one level. He's doing the wisest path. He's keeping his anger rush going. He's not getting mired down to the fact he has no discard. They're calculating damage and see if Pete's going to bother blocking it. If I was Pete, probably not. Uh, that's not a big enough hit. A discard pile would do me good, considering that he knows for a fact that Trevor has had uh, Dev. Seven. And he's doing it. He's going to go ahead and rope a dope and take that hit. Seven power stages. Five. And Black, uh, he had taken all three life cards as a hit. So he's probably. Okay, he's going to throw. There you go. He's going to go ahead and raise his anger. One from the physical attack. He's going to go ahead and target and rejuvenate a card. Most likely activate his instant. Raise it up. Now, to my knowledge, Trevor has no more anti-anger in his hand. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to go for the DB, and he's going to, I don't know, probably pull out ball three. He's going to uh, tailor his hand using it. So let's see if I'm right. And ball three. Okay, I know my Namekians. So you guys know this card. He's going to make it a Pete Mill one for the Dragon Ball entering play during combat. And then he's going to go ahead and uh, draw his three cards, put two back, raise anger one, explode off of this level. I guess the neatest thing is Trevor still has no discard. So. so let's see. Let's see. Trevor's drawing his three cards. And I, near as I can tell, it's mostly defensive cards. That Gohan's Power Punch is going to show up. Okay, he raises his anger. I did not get to see what he put to the bottom. So he is Gohan level 2, but with no discard pile, part of his plan is uh, going to be absent. So Pete is doing what he needed to do to be able to hold Trevor down as much as he could. Okay, and that was, does consume his actions back to Pete. I haven't seen Pete's hand. He has lots of different options. 
He's going to throw Black Bear Hug, raise his anger two levels. It's a physical AT stages attack, so it will do literally no damage to Trevor if he allows him to hit. And he hits him for zero power stages. Uh, Trevor's doing the wisest thing there. He could have used his uh, Saiyan... That's the name. His... Back in clinch? I forget. Oh, and then he's going to... Oh, right throw. He's going to shuffle it back in and raise his anger three levels from the one hit. Unbelievable. So, okay, here's a good thing. Now, uh, Trevor's now level two with three anger, but Pete is now level two as well from that knee catch. So, he, I wouldn't say he wasted it, but he did end up using a little bit more anger off of that. He basically had four anger, he can raise two, he used up a little more. He should, but the pressure to keep this race going is very strong. He's going to do, I think it's like black overhead shot, something of that nature. I don't remember. He's going to raise his anger two levels from the hit. Pete oh, probably should have went for Gohan's uh, level two power. Okay, he's going to go and let it hit him, and that's the problem. I believe it's going to go ahead and give uh, Trevor a discard pile. Probably not a wise effort. Yet. Three Dragon Balls uncovered. I'll go back to the bottom of Trevor's deck. I don't want to banish that. And then I believe, oh, he crit him on four. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. He uh, used Black Conflict effectively. He crit him on four damage. Right, that guy. Um, you got no more attack or cards in hand anymore? And he's going to go on physical. On. Like I said, had he done this in the opposite order, there would have been no discard pile to target. He could have slowed him down, crit him down, and actually did it. But it's tough. He's going to go ahead and uh, take the hit from uh, Trevor's physical attack. He's going to use Gohan's power, raise his anger two levels. And you're realizing that Pete is moving quite quickly, but he's not keeping up quite enough. Uh, with the pace of making knowledge pumping out the anger. It's not Pete's fault by any or failing in his deck at all. It's just that the knowledge Gohan comes is very strong. Okay, he's going to go ahead and stop it. He's going to shuffle in his block. And then uh, that is going to be that. He's going to level right up. Wait, did I see that? Did I stop him? Got to check and see what else is in Trevor's hands. Okay, he's going to use a Gohan power. He's going to make him right throw or a hybrid defense. Uh, he's going to go ahead and have him... Uh, keep the hybrid defense. He's going to rejuvenate the remainder. It's going to raise his anger one level. And then he passes. Okay, so no, he didn't do that. Okay, and then it goes back over to Pete. Pete uh, begins his turn. They do play the game at a little bit faster pace than a lot of us. So Pete is not in a bad position. <laughs> and the thing is, all the Dragon Balls were actually put out of harm's way during that last combat. So that means that Pete's critting ability isn't going to come into play quite as much. I think it was after. But no one's like care about anyway. Like Ball Seven wouldn't do anything for me. He has a tough decision here. He has to keep running this race because basically Trevor will run away with it if he lets him. Double checking his discard pile, see if there's anything here of note that can. And he's gonna go ahead and do. He's got to enough to enter. Pete declares combat. Trevor draws his three in response. Looks like uh, I want to say uh, Trevor's drawn at least one non-combat card. He's going to open up a Black Mischief. He gets a chance to look at the top five cards of any player's deck, arrange them as he wants, and then reveal the top and banish it. So we're going to see exactly what it is that Trevor, Trevor, excuse me, Pete's going to go for on Trevor's deck. <laughs> really well, I'm excited to find out. <laughs> he uh, rearranges them as he sees fit, and he's going to go ahead and banish the top card of his life. Oh, top. And time leaves the game. Wonderful. Maybe one of the best shots I ever saw, Black Mister. Cool stuff. And then uh, Pete's supposed to raise his anger two levels. Uh-oh. I didn't see if he did. Okay, yeah, there you go. He remembered from Mister. Let's go ahead. And then uh, Trevor passes. Shocking. So he's going to hold on to his Gohan power for a rainy day, I guess. Okay, it's going to go back over to Pete. Pete's going to go ahead and shop his discard pile, as he is now also level three. So he can go ahead and do it. He's going to grab Black Command. Uh, looks like a Black Mischief and a Bear Hug, all excellent choices for Black for his purposes. He puts Bear Hug into his hand. When he intentionally gives him a card like that, I'm going to say, okay, it's Black Bear Hug for two anger. And there you go. Aha! He did it so he could do this. He passes, so he blocks, knee block, and he throws two Bear Hugs at him. Pass. How? How? Oh, he did it! Oh my gosh, Pete! Beautiful! He go has power punch for an unstoppable physical raising two anger, and the thing is, oh dang it! Trevor just ditched two knee blocks with his uh, knowledge, and he's gonna go ahead and 
Rejuvenate them with Hybrid Defense, raising his anger three levels. To him. He puts him up. He's now level three with four anger, and now he's got to deal with the hit from Pete's power punch. Six, five, six. Cool. Six, six power stages. Remarkably, on an F to F hit, there it's not a whole bunch. He's going to use uh, his Gohan power. He's either going to put the the clinch or Hybrid Defense. I'd say. Yeah, that forced him to shuffle the deck. That might be a good or a bad thing. So the thing is, Pete's actually ahead at this point. I'm going to be honest with you, and I don't exactly know how this match stretches out for as long as it does, given exactly where they're at right now. He's using Gohan's level 4 power. He's going to go ahead and rejuvenate 4 cards, gain 4 stages, and draw a card. And we're going to see what Trevor's up to. He's going to do the same thing. He draws, he rejuvenates, and except the uh, thing is, uh, Trevor's actually getting a lot of extra anger from his rejuvenation. Okay, they both act with the powers in his Pete's action currently. Not sure what he's going to do. I'm going to pass. Call me too. Right. And they both pass and the combat ends. It goes back over to Trevor. Now Trevor is going to have all what you... I, that was the dumbest combat. <laughs> In the olden days of like uh, silly RPG stuff, they used to call it initiative. Basically, Trevor has all the initiative now. He can enter combat, plot any Dragon Ball, one through four, and be able to basically tailor make his hand. He could have pure doo doo in his hand right now, and it wouldn't matter. He could just go ahead and basically weed that out to exactly what he needs by throwing the Mechie Disturbance, using it as his first action. Or he could just throw uh, Gohan's level one power and let it be the luck of the draw and see what he draws from it, and still get to keep Disturbance for action later. Uh, or or he could simply hold on to Disturbance for a ball, too, and basically stop this from being a race. Uh, Trevor's debating it, but I'm pretty sure in this little discussion he ends up yeah, doing it. Okay, he does. He goes in. Pete's going to go ahead and draw his three yeah. cards in response. And let's see what Trevor's opening move is. I feel like he's going to uh, probably throw Disturbance first. Starting with Direct Strike. Okay, Direct Strike. Place that on top of my life deck. He places the style card on top of his life deck, raises anger when level for throwing it. If it hits, he's going to rejuvenate. No! It, oh, don't do it, Pete. Have. Don't so do it. Four, five, six, and one. It would do and six two. and two stages. Six stages, two lines, excuse me. And put a hit and rejuice. Yeah. So you basically can't let him. Stop it. Yeah, he did. Okay, he stopped it. He lowered his anger. He's slowing down Trevor just a little bit. I'm going to be honest, that might be a, aside from that crit he did before. He's going to go ahead and throw a Gohan's Power Punch, raise, raise the anger to levels. Yet again, the only way this match could conceivably go on and have any more to it, he's going to go ahead and uh, he'd have to take the hit and then DB to... Uh, there you go. It's happening. Making disturbance. P, come on, man. You had to know. You're doing the right thing, uh, that you're raising your anger enough for that uh, to keep up with it. But, yeah, he's going to go ahead and grab DB2. He's going to pull it out, to level him. And there you go. And this is most likely how Trevor ends up winning this race. I could be wrong, but it sure is feeling like it. If Pete hangs in here any more actions than this, I'm going to call him a doggone trooper. So let's finish up this shuffle on Trevor's part. And then it is Pete's action. Uh, if I was Pete, uh, shoulder slams would be my friends. Uh, they'd raise my anger by lowering theirs to the active card. He's going to use his go on power, and he grabs that physical block and puts it back in. Put the block? Yep. It's the block that lowers the anger. So again, that might slow Trevor down a bit, but maybe not enough to actually mean anything. Oh, man. This uh, Gohan and Gohan matchup can make for some really brief matches. Okay, he's going to Gohan power. He's going to go ahead and rejuvenate uh, card, draw, raise the anger one. I didn't actually see what he gets to draw. Uh, the angle's all wrong for the camera. Okay, he's going to go ahead and throw Gohan's Power Punch, Unstoppable, six-stage physical, and he gained his anger. He's back to level four now. Now, Pete's only very marginally behind. I, I, all I can say is if Trevor has a dog on right throw, it's over, because he just go ahead and shuffle in ball two, and that's the end of the story. Wow, Trevor passes. Gain four stages. He's going to use his level four Gohan power and draw a card, rejuvenate four. Back over Trevor. Trevor passes. Uh, Pete is ready to respond. Uh, he's already, he's going to do Conflict Mastery, he's going to ditch I don't recognize the card, it looks like he's probably going to raise his anger for doing so. I would have probably lowered Trevor's. Wow, he threw a chin kick at him on level 4 and somehow did not win the interview. I just, I just don't get it. He's going to do some very mild damage to level 4 Gohan, he gets some, the damage buff for level 4. 
two. And he takes a life card damage, three, and I think that might have been what the game four, was all along. Three, Trevor was waiting to get a hold of a discard pile, and that's probably why he's debating so hard about whether or not to use endurance. Because Eddie did it, he just dropped out a pair of knee blocks, and he got crit on his anger. Oh, he can't crit the ball away. I forgot to make you knowledge. It has been a while since I've, I thought about that one. Okay, I'll He's going to throw a suppressive strike. Uh, that's going to rejuvenate two. And it's going to go ahead and raise the anger one. He's at level four, two anger. No hit effects on that one. It just turns off anything that turns off all or stops all attacks. And Pete might be out of actions. Let's see if Trevor can pull this one out in the next couple of seconds. I believe by the, our, our clock, he is going to do it in this very next action. I'm also reading his dice wrong. Trevor appears to have four anger. No, 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 I'm wrong. He passes. He goes back over to Pete. Yeah, I think I shouldn't have entered there. Didn't go well. Okay, and I think this is where everything's going to fall apart like wet tissue paper. Pete has a victory in hand. He has game in hand. He puts out, see, look at this. He basically could throw something, raises up his own anger, and then basically keep him away from it with this action. You're not going to believe what causes it. He throws black schematics, there's a sphere, a rejuve, and it's over. Trevor has won by MPPV. That was a very short match. It was like watching a late game match of soccer in a very competitive football game. Uh, it was neat to watch these guys go. I would actually love to see these guys go head-to-head -head again.